hey guys and welcome back and if you're new here thanks so much for joining us today i'm a hot mess <laughs> i just finished editing two vlogs and honestly i am not in the mood to cook but i gotta cook and i start work like in the next hour so um originally i defrosted some steaks i don't remember if they were palomias or if they were milanesas i have a feeling they were mil milanesas because as we're traveling i'm finding less and less of the ingredients that i typically buy in south florida um but i'm gonna make i was planning on making it palomia style basically frying the steak with seasoning and then topping it with caramelized onion that is very common um meal for cubans serving that alongside some rice some plantains some salad um avocados but i decided not to do something so simple for you guys and making it a little bit more i guess creative but still authentic cuban so there's another dish that we make with steak um the thin steaks called bife en cazuela so it's basically translated as steak in a pot <laughs> i guess and it's kind of like stewed um so let me show you the ingredients that we're going to be using it's still going to be super fast it's still minimal ingredients assuming that you have your pre-bought sofrito or your pre-homemade sofrito that you and i have made together in the past together um so let me show you what i've got going on and let's all right so here you'll see my pan i'm actually going to do it in the pan instead of a pot because it's not a lot it's just for me and lou so i have two steaks in here you'll see that they are this is like the thickness of it they're pretty thin i'm gonna cut off the excess fat because for these type of steaks this fat is very chewy not so great i only like the fat on ribeyes <laughs> so we will be taking these out and seasoning them and then starting to sear them not cook them all the way through i'm gonna take them out of the pan and then I'm gonna go ahead and start sauteing some onions. I'm gonna do about half an onion in strips. I took out four, five, six cloves. I decided to make it extra garlicky. Originally I was gonna do three, but I added a few more. Um, and then throw that in with the garlic. I mean, sorry, throw the garlic in with the onions. Once that's fragrant and caramelized, I'm gonna add like two or three heaping tablespoons of my homemade sofrito throw the steak back in there, which I'm more than likely gonna chop into like quarters or so. We'll see once I take it out. Add in some water, add in more of the seasonings, which what I'm doing to season is some pink salt, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some cumin, some parsley, some black pepper, and some sazon. I'll be covering it and basically letting it all cook down. Okay, so first things first so that we can get the ball rolling on the meat. You'll see my rice pot in the background. I've already started to um, make some rice. That's actually the last of our white rice too. This is still a little frozen. All right. Get the shears. Cut this in half. Cut this fat off. Throw away this fat off. Let's go away. Perfect. And then now these I'm gonna cut again. Basically quarter them. I should have seasoned before I quartered to make it faster, but that's okay. All right, let me rinse my hands so that I can grab the seasoning. Okay. I'm going to start turning on this black pan so that the oil can start getting hot. Awesome. I'm going to put it on a medium high. And we're adding the pink salt. We're adding the garlic powder. We're adding the onion powder. We're adding some cumin as well as parsley. Some black pepper. 
and some sazon. This is the one with culantro y achote. I'm going to flip the sticks and repeat that process. Now that the oil is nice and hot, I will be throwing these quarter steaks onto the pan so that they can get nice and seared. While that is searing, I'll go ahead and start cutting the onions. Ooh, it already smells so good. I actually should have already had cut because this is going to cook super fast. Oh, that smells amazing. All right, let me rinse this so that I can slice the onions on it. Or half of it in the fridge for another time. Let's see, flip these. Oh, it smells so good. Amazing. All right. And for the garlic, too. I'm going to take the steak out for now. It'll go back in. And we're going to throw the onions in. Let me go back to peeling my garlic. Give these onions a stir. We're going to give that a moment for it to become more translucent. In the meantime, I'm going to give the garlic a rough chop um, because I still, I want big pieces. I want to be able to see them. I want to be able to bite into them. So I don't want it super diced, like really small. Let me go ahead and throw out all of the scraps and we'll be right back to give that another stir and add this in. Runaway onion. Throw the garlic in. It's like as soon as the garlic hits that hot pan, it already starts lighting out its own little oils and aroma. It's amazing. That's all I'm smelling right now is garlic. I am going to be very generous with my sofrito. For those that are tuning in for the first time and don't know what sofrito is, this is onions, green peppers, garlic, and tomato paste um, that has already been pre-cooked and stored away. That is three hefty tablespoons. And I'm going to throw this cake back in here too. with all of those juices that it let out. If you have some beef broth, I would recommend using that. I only have chicken broth and I don't want to mix chicken and steak together. So I'm going to add in some water and then I'm going to throw in more seasonings in here since the water is going to dilute the seasonings I've already added. 
So let's grab one cup and two cups. That should be more than enough. I'm going to reduce the heat like a medium low. And I'm coming back in with all the seasonings we've used. There's some black pepper. There's some more of the sazon. Or this away. Parsley. Cumin. Onion powder. Garlic powder. And pink salt. Give that a stir. And then I'm going to cover it. I'm gonna raise the heat again because I don't see it bubbling. I would like to see it bubbling so that some of that liquid can already start to evaporate. I like it soupy. Lou doesn't like it soupy. She likes it saucy. So I basically want that liquid to render down and just become thick instead of watery. I'm gonna raise the heat again. So maybe like a medium high. I'm gonna cover it. And I'm going to set a timer for about 15 minutes and we'll check on it again then. Alexa, how much time left on my timer? We'll check when it's left on 15 minutes. Oh, so only five minutes have passed. I want to take a peek at it because I see a whole lot of steam coming out of it. Take this off and give it a stir. It is bubbling away and it smells so good. I think I'm going to leave it uncovered the rest of the time. That'll help the liquid evaporate instead of being retained inside being covered. So this is done. I took it off the heat. You'll see that all the liquid is out. It's just super saucy. Look how thick this is. Um, the rice is already done too. You'll see it's orange in the background. We've got an avocado out, salt for the avocado. We're both starving, so I'm going to go ahead and plate. Give you guys a close-up, take a thumbnail picture, and give you a taste test. So this is what a bite en cazuela looks like. It's just basically a saucy steak. <laughs> Yes. Um, there is our fluffy rice. And let's see how this avocado is. I'm hoping it's beautiful. You just never know. Okay, so we are officially served. Let's get a picture and then start eating. I'm already logged into my work system, so I am not moving my computer um, to eat with Lou at the table. So here is her plate, mm. which you guys saw a close-up of. I'm drooling. Fork and knife. I am going to, because we actually need a knife for this meal i'm gonna go ahead and eat it on this little cutting board so that i can cut and it mm. smells amazing we haven't had this in such a long time yeah and when she sent me she sent me a list actually of stuff to choose from i know <laughs> i know i got it like that and uh, when she Let's sent see. me this Opa. i was like all in because we haven't had this in a really long time and again this takes me back to my grandmother Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Did you yeah. try it? Yeah, I just had a bite of the meat. Oh my god. And this sauce over the white rice is yeah. everything. You can just eat that. Yeah. You can just have rice with some yeah. and onions. Yeah. And it's it's got tomato paste mm. in it or tomato sauce, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, the sofrito has tomato paste. But it's not tomato at all. Mm -hmm. You don't taste... I'm not a big like tomato -y fan, but you don't taste it. And the meat is really tender. Okay. Like, you don't really have to cut through it, you know? I like tiny bites because I'm a baby. <laughs> mm. Super good. I love all the garlic everywhere, too. Like yeah. I added extra like garlic. Giant for pieces of garlic. Yeah, I do that for you. Mm. Um, usually these steaks are much thinner when we buy them. So they cook a lot faster because <laughs> um, they're palomilla steaks when we get them in South Florida. I don't find palomilla steaks while traveling. I think I got the Milanesa ones, which are thicker steaks and oh. they're usually meant to be cooked with sauce, I guess. Um, but it's still super delicious, super flavorful and tender. Um, yeah, I, I just don't have any words. This is very traditional um, and very easy to make, as you saw, and pretty fast, too. Lucy doesn't want a sharing with Lexi. She's like, only I can have some. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up because she's going to be barking a lot in the background while we eat. She will um, be. And we just want to enjoy without having to have a mess on our face on camera with yeah, you guys. I, I don't want to make a fool of myself on camera. <laughs> if you enjoyed cooking this meal with me, please give me a big thumbs up. I'd love to hear what type of dishes do you make kind of saucy also so that I can get inspired and do something different. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love for you to follow along with our cooking videos tomorrow. In the next video every single day throughout the month of march <laughs> bye guys oh my god let's put this down to turn you off